Hey, what's up guys? Vlog number two here. You gotta check out this movie. Uh, it'll be the link on the side called Dead Fantasy. Uh, it was, it's, it's like 15 minutes long, but it's um, the chicks, like all the girls, not all of them, but a bunch of girls from Square Games and what was the other game? Whatever, man. Uh, whatever, man. Check it out, dude. It's fresh. Uh, I was going to talk about, um, it's maybe like once, I don't know, every so often, once or twice, three times a year where I'm like all fucking down and out. But I'm all down and out right now. And it, it sucks. And I can't say that I don't know why. I, I, I think I do. Like I have, um, I, uh, well, I got really, I was really sick last Friday. And that shit always... That shit always, like, fucking depresses me. I hate being sick. I'm still a little sick now. And and before that, I had just a whole lot of stuff going on. You know, moving and that kind of thing. And, yeah, just all really... And now being sick, and I really feel like I need to exercise. And, I, you know, I've been missing jujitsu because I'm sick. I, think I might go for a run right now. Right after I film this, I'm going to go for a run. That'll make me feel better. But, yeah, I felt like I, I, felt like I had more. Oh, I wanted, yeah, I wanted to say a little bit more about the... <coughs> <coughs> I actually wanted to ch I check out her website some more before I started recording this. I didn't, but the, it was Tristan... Tristan something was her name. I have her... I have the fly here. Tristan Terramino... Amino was uh, for that uh, sexual empowerment seminar, and today they're having a seminar on how to how to build and maintain open relationships or something. And I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna try to get some video footage of her. But um, it was actually really it was really cool stuff that everybody everyone needs to uh, to get into. So here are my notes about sexual empowerment. She like like one of the things she did was like name all of the things you do. Like, I, I don't know who's why, who watches these things and how old you are or whatever. If you're having sex, not, if you're not having sex, whatever, it doesn't, it's not that serious of an issue. But, uh, like, was list, uh, she listed a whole bunch of, um, she had everybody from the audience or whatever list adjectives or verbs of things that you do while having sex. It ended up being this, and maybe I should have wrote that down, this really long list, like, like, play, direct, control, dominate, pleasure, uh, enjoy, satisfy, it's just really long list, like filled up this whole, just like my pieces of paper, like a whole thing. And then she talked about, yeah, this is like, what, what other activity would encompass, you know, could you do exercise, you know, that you do all these things, whatever activity is there. And then, the, so, you know, that's why sex is so whatever. But then, you know, then she was talking about who are your sexual role models, you know, and, you know, people like, you know, mom, dad, you know, a couple names I didn't recognize, but maybe porn people or I don't fucking know. But, uh, you know, her point was, is that with something that is so, you know, covers, you know, that, that it's fun and relaxing and so good for you and all that stuff, there's not a lot of role, you know, sexual role models out there to kind of base anything off of. And, um... <sighs> What was I? What was I going to say? My mind doesn't feel right, man. I'm sick. I need to exercise. I don't know. But without uh, these uh, sexual... Oh, yeah, just how few sexual role models are and how whack that was. She said, I'm sure if I would have asked, you know, who are your role models in business or whatever, everybody would have a whole, you know, more than just one or two for themselves. Everyone would have a long list of them. And actually, the only person that came to mind is my dad. And wait till I get into my dad's stories one of these days. And, to, and yeah, like, <laughs> but she was saying, like, you know, if it was business, you'd have all these things. If it was, like, some spiritual something, you know, you'd probably have all this stuff. I got a whole fucking wall of uh, spiritual uh, teacher stuff. But then when it comes to sex, you know, no one, you know, has no role models, really. And then the shit you see in the movies does not really coincide with what. Anyway, so sexual empowerment. Here are what I got from the notes. One thing she said was knowledge. So knowing about, you know, maybe the body, knowing about STDs, knowing about whatever, you know, like investigate that stuff. So you know, you know, so you're not 
dealing with the unknown and she was talking about like just knowledge on stuff is real lacking uh permission like to give yourself permission to be a, a sexual being so like telling yourself like it's okay for me to be sexual <laughs> sex is enjoyable and that's cool like something like something like that uh, authenticity she uh said so knowing that you're uh that whatever weird stuff you're into isn't so weird other people are into it too and you just don't know about it and you're not alone uh, uh getting rid of myths about sex i'm not exactly sure that i wrote that down uh what do you want? Like, how? what do you want your sexual experience to be? You know, not so much based on what someone else or like figuring out what you want, you know, being, keeping it real, I guess. Um, oh, some, she said, she said, I, I remember she saying, saying if there was anything she wanted a person to take home from this thing, it was this sentence here. You are the key to your own sexual pleasure. So you are, you are, you, you have that key. You, you, it's not in someone else's hands, I guess, to figure out how to hook your shit up or something, I guess. I don't know. Um, she said, I, I remember writing this down not quite right, but she was talking about with safe. Oh, shit, I'm getting a phone call. And my fucking speakers make that noise. I'll turn that shit off. Or a text message. My bad. Let the vlogging continue. But uh, say, uh, she was talking about safe sex. Um, how about how in the U.S. anyway? I don't know about other countries, but like how too too much emphasis is put on uh, risk, like physical harm to your person, you know, like you're gonna get AIDS and, and this is gonna fuck your shit up and you're gonna die and you know, I don't know, <laughs> you know how they do it here if you're in the US. And like that is a part of uh, stuff, but she said way too much focus is on that. And all, you know, there needs to be focus on, you know, risk like, um, how to protect your mind, your your mind too, and your you know the relationship. Like fun, funky stuff happens from sex. It's not just let's say you do everything, uh, you know, you wear condoms and everything's safe and clean or whatever. But still, like a lot of feelings can get hurt. You can feel like you did something wrong, and you know all this shit. You know how do you, you know, figuring that out? Uh, getting the confidence to say no and to say yes to the stuff you like. Uh, figuring out what your boundaries are, what's okay, what's not okay. Um, yeah, communication was in there, you know, uh, mastering. I don't know if she said this, and I, I interpreted it like this, but mastering, talking about sex. Um, she said this, this is uh, good for, for everyone to know. <laughs> I think I enjoyed hearing this, but 99. And this um, Tristan, like, has been in the sex game for a long time as far as giving advice or whatever. And, you know, she was like, people open up and tell their stories that, like, no... Like, nobody, uh, I don't want to say, like, nobody's business, but stories that they wouldn't tell their doctor, they wouldn't tell their closest friends, whatever, they would tell her. Because, like, and, and not just because of who she is now, but where, you know, even before she was, you know, I guess she's big time if you, I don't know. But 99% of people want and take direction in bed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um... Yeah, and then I just have here not enough sexual role models. I thought that thing about not enough sexual role models was, you know, there's not enough role models with a lot of stuff. But, I mean, you know, usually if you don't have a person, uh, you know, close to you that you can look up to, you got, like, you know, you can get a book about, like, about, like, Jackie Chan or, you know, about... Warren Buffett, or you can get some shit on Russell Simmons, you know, or, or something, like, but there's not a lot of, uh, and, but usually, like, even for that kind of stuff, you can find someone closer to home, but, like, for sexual stuff, anyway, so that was, that was that, like, uh, a couple people in my comments uh, asked to hear more about that on the other vlog, so there it is, and I'm going to, there's another, um, seminar tonight and i told her about me making videos and stuff and hopefully she'll be cool with saying some stuff i'll put that on the main account <laughs> but uh yeah I, mean, I think i'm gonna go for a run man i gotta feel better and i'm missing taiwan man i wish i'm really missing taiwan today for some reason like you know it's nice being able to just roll out of the bed and they got like people cooking breakfast right down the street and you eat pretty decent no, I eat peanut butter now, cause <laughs> and ramen noodles <laughs> and canned fruit. Uh, I'm gonna go for a run, guys. All right.
Vlog number two out.